just get a packet and there should have been a you should have seen the picture there just a minute ago of the Knox original gelatin it's unflavored it doesn't really matter which one it is as long as it is the unflavored gelatin so you need that you're going to need a container of glycerin and I got this one at Walmart and you can find this in the pharmacy area and it was uh, by the antiseptic creams I believe but that's where I found it it was the best place I found it you can also order it online so we also need to make sure that we have our tablespoon and I need a container now I've used this container a couple times this is just nothing more than a cream cheese container and then for color we're also I am using the, the Neutrogena healthy skin enhancer so I'm just using this for some color for the skin so we're going to take one packet of the gelatin I'm just gonna pour that in I am then going to take a container that has water in it and I'm just using two tablespoons of this now I'm going to take my glycerin and I'm going to put two tablespoons of this in as well After we have that in, you can just stir it up. I'm just using a plastic spoon. I would tell you that this, the gelatin uh, it does not smell the greatest in the world. So usually by the time you start putting in a couple of the, uh, again, just adding the color, you can probably get this to smell just a little bit better now we're gonna throw this in the microwave and we're gonna microwave this for about 30 seconds now I just said about using that for 30 seconds the microwave I'm using is an older model as you can see here so you may need to do this for a little less I've seen it as low as 15 seconds and it works but what you're looking for is to make sure that this is now going to be liquefied. Right now it's kind of a gel. After having the gelatin, water, glycerin, and some of the coloring, you can, after it's all melted and it has been microwaved, I just pour mine into a, basically a baking pan and I just bought this at uh, a dollar store. It only cost me a buck, leading us to say. And all I'm doing is letting this fan out. <clears throat> and it will begin to harden. And to enhance that, one of the things that we're going to do, let me back this up. One of the things that we will do is put this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, and it will definitely turn into a better gel. So this is what we look like after 30 minutes of being in a refrigerator. And we're just going to pull up the one end and see that this just pull right out. And now basically of our skin. You can see that obviously it's going to be a little bit different consistency as to the thickness but you can cut this as to what you need to do with it. This can go over top of a mannequin if you were doing something like needle crack thyrotomies, if you were trying to do something with an IV you can start utilizing some of that stuff. 
Um, if you break this up and cut it into different sections, you can actually then remelt it. And in future videos here, what we'll show you is that now that we've made this skin, what we can do with it in relationship to maybe making a IBR.